Hey, this is Mike Glover uh, doing a quick, I hope, video on uh, using CalCon. Um, I want to apologize that the um, screencast software seems to uh, cut frames uh, periodically, so you'll see it jump in the playback. It's, it's random, but um, it is what it is. And even more so, I apologize. I, I could have sworn I, I did a video like this um, couple years ago either I never finished it never got it uploaded or something but I I assumed that there was one out there and uh, there isn't so uh, very belated and I, I definitely apologize um, I'm going to go through basic operation and functions of uh, the uh, logging playback and plotting as the focus of this and I'll have a couple subsequent videos covering other aspects but anyway um, first um, uh, go over the buttons uh, obviously uh, file open to open a, a log file for playback and, and analysis um, the uh, jump back 100 samples start and stop um, playback uh, and obviously these are only active when a log file is open and jump forward 100 uh, samples and then of course close log file or stop and if you hit start it'll just start incrementing through the um, uh, log file you can pause it and start playing back again and you can jump ahead you can play and jump ahead multiple times um, and this obviously is the uh, start stop logging and this activates the communication to the tweaker and the ECU back to your PC and uh, uh, as long as that is read then you have data coming um, this toggle will to toggles between whether what you're seeing on the screen is being written to the log file or not it's if it's not checked like it is right now it is only displaying the data that's coming from the um, RT. Once you click it, and um, then it is um, writing to the uh, logging that data to the file for playback later. Um, this simply exports uh, your open log file to a CSV file that you can open in. Uh, Microsoft Excel. I don't use that. That's just a feature for other people who asked for it some years ago. Uh, and of course, this opens uh, CalEdit if you need access to it. Um, and if you stop, obviously, then the exit button is shown. And this label over here, it uh, if you hover over it, it shows you the uh, minor number, 13550, which is the latest update as of January 2021. Okay. Um, when you have a log file open, and we're going to go over those buttons. Down here is the track bar. Uh, you can click on it to move uh, 100 samples at a time. Same function as, as these jump four and a half buttons. Uh, of course, you can gla uh, sorry, grab the uh, track bar button and drag it to any sample, moving fore and aft as you desire. And then you can hit play and pause, etc. Um, jump and of course, dashboard is just another form of display. Nothing uh, really different other than the method of display or type of display mm, okay now in the plotting uh, it's uh, pretty straightforward obviously whatever is selected uh, it will be displayed when you hit the uh, draw graph button uh, this is an 8 meg file so it takes a little bit of time to display it um, and of course the colors uh, on the register listing the field listing matches what it's being displayed on the uh, screen um, uh, 
zooming is a fairly important feature. Uh, what you can do is hold the shift key and then right click with your mouse and drag to create a box around the data that you want to uh, zoom in on. And of course it does it. And then you can continue to zoom in if you want to zoom in on AFR and Lamsey. Um, and then there's two methods to uh, return back to unzoomed mode. You can either just redraw, redraw the graph, clicking that, or if you're zoomed in, and zoomed in some more or not, hold the shift key and just click, right click. Uh, sorry, I said right click. A normal left click will return you back to uh, unzoomed mode. Now, a new uh, feature with this update is that you can click on, say you've zoomed in, and it doesn't have to be zoomed, but uh, if you want to go to a certain data point, just click on it, and it'll jump to that sample. So you can go back, and if you want to click on the button here, then you can start. This is with a mouse scroll button going sample by sample, forward or aft. Or you can use your cursor keys, left, right, to go one at a time. Um, if you have a, a log file that has uh, a lot of spurious uh, uh, data like that, where you have a big spike way outside of the uh, uh, plausible range, uh, if you hit uh, click on any one single uh, field of RPM, or spark or math voltage this filter button will be enabled and it will filter out any uh, anything outside of its uh, acceptable range so if I filter that then it now shows um, um, valid data or in, in the right um, um, display level uh, scale that's what I'm looking for uh, so then you can should be able to graph and see uh, more of a, a full, a proper, uh, properly scaled display. And, and finally, um, when you, a lot of times when I'm analyzing data, sometimes I go back and forth between log files and I don't want these fields to, to have to recheck these fields. So if I either close it and then open a second different log file it'll select uh, the same fields I have uh, had selected as long as they're still available um, you can also you don't have to close the file you can just reopen another one and it will again automatically set those so you can graph and, and do other things um, it is also, anyway, I hope uh, this at least gives you a good basis to uh, begin uh, better uh, utilizing uh, CalCon for the purpose that it is uh, designed for. And I will uh, have some uh, additional videos covering um, how I use it to analyze data, uh, things I, specific things I look for and what you might, what you can, what is inferred by some of the sensor data. And I'll probably go by sensor by sensor, uh, like the egos uh, with Lamsey and or AFR and, and how to correlate those and some other uh, um, important ways to uh, see where your vehicle's performance and operation is at. Anyway, I uh, hope uh, this is helpful, and I will uh, talk to you all in the next video.